Okay guys, so outside of getting the girls waist together, honey, I am actually a TV celebrity makeup artist. I've been doing it for five years now, and I'm going to show you a mini makeover on the gorgeous Kiosha, so stay tuned. Okay, so step number one, we want to brush out the eyebrows. It's very important, even if the hairs are sparse on your eyebrows, that you brush them up before applying your pencil or your gel so it lays down flat. So I'm using the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills gel to fill in her eyebrows. It is waterproof. I'm using the color chocolate and I'm using an angled brush to fill in her eyebrows because Kiyoshi's eyebrows are so thin. We, what you ladies and gents have to realize is that gel sticks to the skin where pencil adheres to the hair. So gel would be great if you have areas where there's no hair or it's very sparse because it's going to stick to the skin. So I'm just kind of creating the shape that I want before actually carving it out with um, a concealer or foundation of your choice. So it may look a little sloppy like, oh my gosh, Ash, like this brow does not have a shape. But trust me, it's about to all come together very nicely. I'm just kind of like filling it in creating my shape but I'm not committed to the shape we're gonna carve this out I'm gonna use the LA girl pro concealer in the shades fawn and medium brown medium beige it's important to use a found concealer two shades lighter than your skin tone to help define and carve out the shape of your eyebrow which I'm doing on Kiyo Chanel as I said before you can like create the shape of your brow and then carve it out and execute it with your concealer the concealer kind of cleans up your shape if that makes sense okay guys so my phone ran out of storage and I had to like do the smoky out off camera but I'm using the makeup forever black from this palette here to smoke out her eye to smoke out her eyes and you can still see that that concealer is popping through the eyebrows are on and this smoky is going to look amazing once the foundation is like put on her skin so it can really shine through so if you notice the tape i put the tape there so it can define the eyeshadow just a little bit better it cleans up any excess fallout and it just makes the eyeshadow look look sharper Okay, so now it's time for foundation. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the 24 hour wear, because that is great for summertime. It does not move at all. And I'm using the shades 360 with 355. Now, ladies and gents, the key to a flawless makeup application is blending down your foundation into your skin. I'm using a Real Techniques um, sponge which you can get from Dwayne Reed any drugstore Rite Aid any drugstore and I'm pushing that foundation into her skin pushing it and pushing it and pushing it in okay we don't want to wipe we want to push it into the skin so it looks like it's one with her it's not like face foundation so I'm combining the two the 355 I'm putting that in the center of her face and I'm using the 360 for the um, perimeter, the outside of her face. And as you can see, it's starting to blend together nicely. Her eyebrows are coming forward, her eyeshadows coming forward and her skin, although her skin is already really nice and flawless, this makes it even look more like perfection, okay? Clearly, we were having a good time. Unfortunately, the music in the back, sis didn't want the copyright issues, okay? But get into this blending, baby. Blend for your life. Like your life depends on it, period, okay? Now it's time for the concealer magic. And concealer, all it does is create dimension in your face. So you can see she has high cheekbones. She has um, a broad forehead. She has full lips. So her face doesn't look flat because foundation could just make your face look like a flat plane. The concealer highlights and brings forth some, um, certain parts of your face just to bring back that dimension. So I'm putting it under her eyes. I'm using the colors Fawn and Medium Beige. Um, I, I, I use a, little, a lot because I know how to blend it down, honey. But 
for my beginners just use a little bit remember one to two shades lighter than your skin tone place it under the eye i like mine to sit for a good two three minutes and get tacky before blending okay now to blend out her concealer i'm using a wedge sponge which you can get anywhere for a dollar a pack three dollars a pack i wet it and now i'm blending out those areas of her skin and as as i said with the foundation we're pressing it into the skin we're not wiping we're taking our time and we're pressing it into the skin so it looks flawless it looks like it's one with her face i'm going under her cheekbones i'm going under her eye i'm not bringing the concealer down to her the apple of her cheek i'm leaving it right under the eye i'm putting right under the cheekbone that t-zone area the t-zone area is where na light naturally hits your face so when you're in the sun and you're glowing it's literally glowing from your forehead down your nose and across your under eyes so that's where you want to place the concealer and as you can see you can see the dimensions of her face are starting to come forward if that makes sense before you set your makeup with powder it should look like your face is already set that's how you know it's not greasy and oily and the powder won't look cakey so i'm using an rcma um translucent powder on her skin and i'm just gonna use that lightly under her eyes but first i'm blending out the concealer just to make sure that area isn't wet and then i'm patting in once again that translucent powder and as you can see it looks flat it looks flawless it looks beautiful like I got it. <laughs> okay and you want to do that to both sides under her eyes um any area where it's wet i usually just like to go over the concealed areas not necessarily the darkest areas the contoured areas okay so now i'm about to go over the translucent with highlighting powder and the big mistake a lot of people make is they set their makeup with benign instead of highlighting their face with benign so you want to set your makeup in usually with the white powder that's what people call it and then you want that add that glow back with the benign banana powder okay and let that sit cook bake like a cookie and now you can see her face is like flat it looks like skin it's a little powdery right now but that's okay and i'm going over those areas with my black radiance um powder kit using medium deep on the her cheekbones and on her forehead Now here's the completed look. Sis is beach ready. I'm just spraying a little bit of body oil on her skin to give it that effect that she's like been outside, sweating, face is beat though, hair is flowing, skin is gloating, honey. Okay, black girl magic, period. But um, yeah, I'm just spraying the oil just to, on her face and a little, a lot of it on her body. So we created this smoky sun kiss look i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you want me to do any more makeup videos let your girl know